I was sitting in my chair, listening to some lo-fi music and a calming sound of sea waves as I was going through my day study. One hour, 43 minutes and 10 seconds in, I'd hear a voice in my head say the following. Perhaps the most beautiful feeling is the feeling of despair, the feeling of heartbreak. For heartbreak brings art, and art is a way of finding beauty out of ugliness and meaning out of expediency. And so I picked up my pen and decided to write about this infamous feeling. One hour, 43 minutes and 10 seconds in. I lay on top of my car, staring up at the stars, staring at all my scars, looking for some tape to stitch my broken heart by the corner of my eyes. Maybe this could be a fresh start even if it tears me apart, I just realized. Sometimes we gotta kick back to see the privilege of seeing the aesthetics offered by this overwhelmingly painful life. Maybe we should learn that love might not be the remedy for this pain that knows no time. They say the most blissful feeling is the moment before we cry. But we do our best to hide our deepest feelings and stay in denial. We're in the thickest of mass to prevent the spread of the viral thing that makes our fates intertwine. Ashamed of sharing a meal in solitude we die. Because in our small heads we know that in solitude we die. But we all have to ask ourselves if trying is worth a try. We live in a void. One that we either fill with the most expedient or hide. We hide it from the mess so that it's not cursed by an evil eye. But at the same time, we're desperate to show our closet to someone whom we consider right. The void will always be up for us to fill. For at the end, it boils down to the question of free will. <laughs>